Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mystery Ranch backpack. This is the RATS backpack, Rapid Access Trauma System. This is a top of the line medical backpack. I think this backpack is great for someone who does search and rescue or tag medicine or like me, we do both. So we're working out of the same backpack a lot for both search and rescue and for SWAT. So let me know at the end of the video what you think that he should take out, what he should leave, and what's something he should add to his kit here for search and rescue and for SWAT. All right, so let's take a look here on the outside of the pack. Full disclosure, this is not my backpack. This is a teammate's, he bought it, so I stole it from him for a YouTube video. So we're gonna go through it for the first time together. I thought that might be interesting. Let's critique his bag, how he's got it set up. Should be a good time. Outside here, we have two IFAC size pouches here. So let's go into this one first. So he has a cat tourniquet hooked to the outside of this IFAC. Has some red pull tabs, I like that. So he has a pressure bandage here. He's got combat gauze. He has a syringe. He has an MPA, pair of hemostats, two deco needles, and hyphen chest seal. So he has a complete eye fact here. So on the other side here is another pouch. So he has some four by fours and petroleum gauze to make a chest seal for burns, things like that. He has one of the VanQuest 4x6 in there. So he's got some gloves. He has some minor stuff. Looks like uh, insect repellent, some red marking tape, some energy juice. So what's that? Um, I don't know what that is. I don't want to open that up. I don't know what that is. Like maybe a poncho. That's what I guess it is. So more like hiking type stuff. On the bottom of the back here, we have another pouch. This would be a great spot for a litter, something like that. Let's see what he has in here. So he has a poncho. There's a poncho there. Here. And then he has a VanQuest sticky cube in there. Some tape. What does he have in here? Alright, let's see. He's got some chem lights. Oh, stuff to make fire. Alright, cool. Tissue, water filtration, cool. So some more hiking supplies here. On each side of the bag, you have more molly here. So you could put an external pack here. If you need to carry some extra stuff, you could obviously just molly something extra here. On both sides, you have that. Here, you can see he has little bumpers on there. This is for body armor. So it makes it more comfortable when you are wearing body armor. This is gonna rest against it and make it more comfortable. The other thing I like about the Mystery Ranch bag here is this is adjustable. So you can pull the Velcro loose here and you can adjust the ride height of the kit and then velcro it back down. Pretty easy, this just disconnects. Pull this out. This helps you undo the Velcro and you can adjust it how you want to. Put this back in the storage compartment and then reattach your load bearing buckles here and your shoulder straps have been adjusted for you. He also has a light here. On top here we have another pouch. So he has some baby wipes, he's got Narcan, gloves, blood pressure cuff, stethoscope, another chem light, he's got a Leatherman, he has a headlamp, another pencil, another Sharpie, and then he's got all of his medications that we carry here. So I'm going to say aspirin, some Zofran, Epi, Benadryl, Solumedrol. There's more Benadryl. What do we have here? Zofran. So that's the medications that will all 
be super helpful on the trail. Here on the front of it, you do have quick access to your tourniquets and a pair of trauma shears. So you can access either cat very easily and a pair of trauma shears. The back is designed that you can just pull it open here. It has a little buckle here that helps keep it closed, but when you need it, you can grab it and then open it up. He has everything labeled here to make it nice and easy to get a hold of it. So we have bleed here. So we know this is a bleeding control kit, trauma kit. It is Velcroed off, so you could toss this to someone, move it around, whatever you need to do. It's got a nice red handle there. He has Sealax Rapid, two more cat tourniquets, two pressure bandages, two triangle bandages, another pair of hemostats, and some compressed galls there. So everything to control major bleeding is inside there. In this pouch, because of the clear window, we can see that we have a SAM Junctional tourniquet and a Mylar Space Blanket. Here, we can see that we have some airway stuff that's pretty easy to recognize. So he has a pocket BVM, some MPAs, OPAs, a few deco needles, and a few more hyphen chest seals. Here we have this bag labeled IV. So we can see we have a sharp container, we've got some more needles here, we see a drip set. So this comes out, we have more drip sets, we've got selling flushes, we have a 500cc bag here of fluid and another drip set there. So able to start an IV, get some fluid, hydrate someone. This one's labeled airway. So he's got his tubes in here, confirmation, blade handle, Miguel forceps for choking. So he has his airway stuff in here, but we could use this as an IV bag as well. So you put your IV bag in here and then this hangs up and it's also protected. IV supplies are here. Some more fluid. On the sides here, he has a SAM splint, which would work great in that pocket. A pair of Raptor X shears. Got an eye gel and a bougie over here. So burn sheets are tucked behind here. There's also a pad in here that comes out. So you can lay this on the patient or behind the patient, let the patient lay on it, and that's gonna create a barrier from get them off the ground, which is gonna help with hypothermia. All right, so what do you think about his kit? What should he take out? What should he leave? What should he add? Let me know down in the comments. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.